we are going to see IBGP and EBGP configuration. Yesterday we saw to form IBGP or EBGP, we need reach. You see, to form a neighbor in BGP, you should ping that neighbor address. A neighbor need to be manually configured, statically configured. The reason is BGP will not send any hello packets. The reason why it won't send hello packet is it is a TCP based protocol. For TCP based protocol, you need to tell to whom it needs to send the TCP three way handshake. So you have to configure manually. Now I'm going to <coughs> router four to configure router three as a neighbor. See BGP will have an autonomous system number. Let me say the autonomous system number of the left hand side is 100 and the right hand side is 200. Two hundred. Okay, now <clears throat> before I configure BGP, I would like to turn on some debugs. Okay, uh, debug IP packets. I just want to show you the conversations that are going to go between these two routers. Also on router three, debug IP packets. I have enabled debug on these two routers. Now I'll go to router 4 <coughs> and say router BGP 200. The neighbor is 34.34.34.3. Remote autonomous system number is 100. Do you agree? This is the address of router 3's E0 slash 1. This is the autonomous system of router 3. Now I hit enter. Now, before that, I, I would like to try pinging this. Okay, anyway, I don't need to ping, it is sending. Look at this. I can see here some packets are going from router 4 to router 3. But the problem is, it is not successful. Actually, this is a three-way handshake, and the three-way handshake is not successful. Why? Because on router three, port number 179 is not open. These packets are sent with port number 179. Because in router three, we have not configured BGP <coughs> with this address as the neighbor. Router 3 should be configured with Router 4's address as the neighbor. Only then this will become true. So otherwise the encapsulation will fail. Now I'll go to Router 3 now. Even in Router 3 you can see the same thing. In Router 3 I'm going to say Router BGP 100 neighbor 34.34.34.4 remote AS is 200. I'm sorry, I want to show you a few more things. For that, I'll stop the debug. You see, on R4, I'm back to R4 now. I'll type show IP BGP summary. This is the command which will show you the status of the neighbor. You can see the neighbor has never come up. Never come up. It is idle, meaning it is trying to reach the neighbor. Because the three-way handshake is not successful, it is in an idle state. It is keep on trying. That you can see by debugging. It keeps trying. Okay. It keeps trying. So it will be in idle state. Now, let us go to this router and hit enter. Okay, I'm going to hit enter. Shall I? 
Now, after I hit enter, you see, I'm back to router 4. I'm back to router 4. All right. Now, packet started going. I'm expecting the neighbor to come up. Let me try pinging this address. Am I able to ping this address? Okay. I'll also try to ping uh, four from here. Okay, good. According to me, the neighbor should have come by now. Let's go and check. Show IP BGP summary. Look at this. Just 36 seconds ago, it has come. I did not notice. It has come and it went silent. That's why we couldn't see if it is, if it is, Wireshark, it would have been seen easily, but this is not a GNS3. I couldn't show you using Wireshark. Let me try. Let me try to capture. Can I capture? Can I capture? Of course, yes. In GNS3, we can capture. No, we cannot capture. <laughs> No problem. I'll show you the other day with GNS3. You see, it is it is up for last one minute and 13, 23 seconds. Now, you, there you also have another command called show IP BGP neighbor. This also shows that the neighbor with router 3, whose router ID is 3.3.3.3, .3 is established. So BGP also picks a router ID, like OSPF. See, router 3 has, I'm, I'm showing this on router 4. Router 4 has formed neighbor with router 3, whose router ID is 3333. Three, three, three. What is 3333? Three, three, three? That is the loopback interface address of router 3. Yep. All right. Now, router. Yeah, yeah, automatic. We did not configure. We did not configure. See, all that I configured is one line. Let me show you. Show run section router BGP. Just one line only I configured. I did not configure this also. You don't need to configure this. This will come automatically. This is the one which shows the log where the neighbor is up or down. Okay, now. Yeah, we configured. I configured this one and this one. I configured. Now you see, what is the autonomous system number of router four? What is the autonomous system of router three? Because this is not same, router four thinks that this is an EBGP neighbor. You understand? How router 4 knows that 34, 34, 34, 3 is EBGP? Because the autonomous system number is not same. Now, on R3, I can form neighbor with R1 without having BGP in R2. For that, I need to ping 10.12.0.1. For that, I need OSPF. So, shall we enable OSPF between R1 and R3? All right, let's go and enable. I'm not going to enable OSPF on Ethernet 01 of router 3 because it's not needed. So, on router 3, I'll do it on interface range loopback 0 comma ethernet 0 slash 0 ip ospf1 area 0 is it okay you understood let me go to router 2 interface range ethernet 0 slash sorry range loopback 0 comma ethernet 0 slash 0 iphone 1 IP OSPF1 area 0. 
and let me go to router one. Interface range Lubeck zero comma Ethernet zero slash zero, IP OSP one area zero. <coughs> Something is wrong. I think show IP interface brief. Oh, I did not put IP address here. I Now I'm expecting neighborship between these three routers. Show IP OSPF neighbor, not it. Show IP interface brief. Oh, it's still down. I didn't say no shot. Now, once the neighborship comes up, we'll try pinging from router one to router three. Okay, ping 10.23.0.3. If I can ping, then I can look at this. It's pinging. All right. Now, I'll go to router 3 first and say router BGP 1 and red. Correct? Neighbor 10 10.12.0.1. Remote AS, listen, because it is the word, keyword remote, don't think I'm trying to configure eBGP. No. eBGP or IBGP is determined by this number. If this number and the neighbor's autonomous system number is same, then it is IBGP. Now, I'll go to router 3. Sorry, router 1. And say router BGP 100, neighbor is 10.23.0.3, remote AS is 100. Is this IBGP or EBGP? IBGP. Now you will see neighbor coming up. You see? Neighbor has come up. Let's verify. Show IP BGP summary. Look at this. Now let us go to router 3 and see here also this come. Show IP BGP summary. I am seeing two neighbors. This is an eBGP neighbor. This is an eBGP neighbor seven minutes before. And this is an IBGP neighbor 17 seconds ago. Now let's show, let us see the show run section router BGP. Here you can see IBGP and this is EBGP. 10.34 34 is EBGP. 10.12 is IBGP. Now what you have seen here is IBGP neighbor need not to be connected directly. That's the last point that we saw in the previous number. You remember that. Nice. EBGP. Mm. Hmm. But for EBGP, for EBGP, you must have a direct connection. We will see why it is. Yeah, we will see why it is in another class, but I want to give you some intro now. The EBGP is expected to be directly connected because it is another autonomous system. You want to see and thoroughly verify that you are forming neighbor with the right person. Only if it is directly connected, you can confirm that you are, you are peering with the right person, isn't it? So it's kind of security. It's a kind of security, all right? All right then, I'll, I'll stop 